Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Here's something I recently thought about while I was supposed to be doing something else. Can we find a nice antiderivative or indefinite integral of the absolute value of x? You know, without doing any lame piecewise crap. So first convince yourself that the absolute value of x can be written as the square root of x squared, or better yet, x squared to the one half power. So we can also equivalently ask what the integral of x squared to the one half power is. Okay, now here's what we can do. From here, we can use integration by parts. So if we let u be, not, not u, but the letter u is going to be x squared to the one half, so that du is one half times x squared to the negative one half times two x. And this can be written as x over the absolute value of x. And you can convince yourself that equivalently this can be written as the absolute value of x over x instead, which I'm going to do for reasons that will come up in a second. <laughs> so dv, we're going to let that be dx, so that v is x. All right, now by the integration by parts formula, we will have that the integral of this guy is uv, so this is the absolute value of x, remember? So the absolute value of x times v, which is x, minus the integral of v, which is x, times du, which is the absolute value of x over x. Now when I hit with that multiplication, the x's will cancel, and so we're left with the absolute value of x here. And so, since we have that the absolute value, the integral of the absolute value of x is equal to the absolute value of x times blah blah and so on, we can add this to both sides of the equation. That's the point here. So we get 2 times the integral of the absolute value of x dx equals the absolute value of x times x. And so, in conclusion, we can say that the integral of the absolute value of x dx is equal to the absolute value of x times x over 2 plus c. Now, this is actually pretty intuitive. What does this function look like? Well, it turns out that this function looks a lot like the integral of x, which is x squared over 2, except uh, the inputs preserve their signs. It's always increasing, which it should be since the absolute value of x is always uh, positive. So its integral should be an increasing function, and it is. But yeah, uh, this is something I did in the margins of my notebook during lecture in the class I'm having trouble with, so maybe I should have did this another time. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.